All right, guys, welcome to Yummy Kitchen. My name is Chef Simani, and this is Fit Eats. So that was the pre-workout. Now we go to your post-workout. So you've worked out, you're back home, you're tired, or you've gotten ready at the gym and you need to rush to work. So this is a good alternative for that. So let's just go ahead and do this. For my ingredients for this one would be your avocado, uh, which is a fat. This will just keep you fuller for longer and it's also good for your joints. Then we have strawberries. This is just to make it taste nice, taste it sweet. Also strawberries and kale or spinach, which has been blanched, is good for antioxidants. Then we have a scoop of protein shake. Now, I'd advise you to go for a whey isolate, a whey isolate protein. This is just because I'd rather you get your carbohydrates from natural sources as opposed to getting it from just sugars, simple sugars and artificial sugars, which you would get from a mass gainer. So let's just go ahead and mix all the ingredients into the cup, yeah? Depending on how much you can eat, don't add too many strawberries. I think that's fine. Yeah, then I'll go ahead and throw in the protein, then your veggies. This is spinach. Yeah. Next up, your banana. Let's break that in half again so it just fits properly. Then lastly, well, second last is still water, your avocado. So this will definitely be a lot sweeter than the other one. Fun fact, like one avocado tends to be 240 calories. Yeah, put that down. A bit more, right there. There we go. Okay, and there we go. This is a bit thicker, also because of the avocado. So depending on how hungry you'll be by lunchtime or how hard you went on your workout, this should take you for a while. Okay, so here we go. All right, cheers. And there you have it guys, my go-to recommended pre-workout and post-workout shakes. For your pre-workout, you'd want to take it at least an hour before you go workout, because you do want it to digest and you do want to go in, in a, with a slightly emptier stomach so that your body is not competing to digest food and to take blood to your tummy or to take blood to your muscles. That's when you feel like throwing up. And your post-workout, 30 minutes, an hour, 45 minutes, 30, 45 minutes after you work out, even an hour is fine. As long as you get in the calories and the food you need after your workout, before your workout, you are good to go. All right, if you enjoyed this video and the information we gave you, then I'll ask you first of all to hit that like button, secondly to hit that subscribe button, and thirdly to hit the notification button so you can get notifications when we have a video up, and um, share it with friends. And stay tuned for the next episode of Fit Eats with Chef Simani and Yummy Kitchen. Thank you.